What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another gameplay commentary. So you see the title of the video. We're going to talk about Tory Lane's response to the situation he's in with uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Now, for those who don't know, Megan and Tory had gotten to an altercation maybe a few months back, and it resulted in someone getting shot and... It resulted in Megan actually getting shot. She got shot in her foot. And um, Tori was arrested on a, a gun charge. And uh, he was released on bail. And he pretty much went silent after that. Now, of course, Megan originally wasn't trying to talk about it. But, you know, news got out. Everyone was trying to figure out, did Tori really shoot Megan? And uh, finally, she had uh, kind of exposed everything from her side of the uh, from her side of things and she basically came out and said on Instagram live maybe a few months back maybe a month ago that Tori shot her and once again at this point Tori has still not said anything so I want to say a couple of days ago Tori had finally broke his silence he said uh, he posted a tweet saying he would go on Instagram live and address everything that's going on and you know so people can get some clarity and what he did, which is uh, kind of a smart marketing move, he dropped an album. This entire time, he wasn't saying anything. He just dropped an album instead of actually, like, talking about it on Instagram Live. Which, it works because people ultimately went to go check it out. And he kind of talked about the situation through the album. The album's called Daystar. That's his actual name, which is kind of a, a weird name. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your parents name you Daystar. That's that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's neither here nor there. But uh he dropped it and um I actually got a chance to listen to it. I don't think me and Dub were probably gonna do a reaction to some of the songs on the album only because it's kinda heavy in controversy right now. Like it's it's technically an ongoing case and I don't know, it's just I don't I don't think it would be the right idea to just you know do a reaction and you know kind of just try to pick sides because you know this is a serious situation this is domestic violence you know someone got shot and you know it's it's very serious and you know we're not trying to monetize something as serious like that but i will just kind of give my brief thoughts and opinions on just the whole situation um he he really broke down uh, Megan and uh, Tori's relationship they were kind of behind the scenes but they had a, rom a romantic relationship going on and if you guys know anything about being in a relationship with someone especially if it's it's low-key but you guys have feelings for each other you know some things can get said you know especially if you care for that person you know it doesn't take much for an argument to start up you feel me and Let's not forget, they're at the top of their careers right now. Tori just uh, was able to finally own his masters. He got out the label that he was with. Megan is really having one of the best years she's had since she's been in the, the rap game. So they're at the top of their fields, you know. They're high-profile individuals. And, you know, saying when you bring feelings into the mix, you know, it, uh, things can happen. I'm not saying, you know... People should get shot in the process. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But at the same time, emotions can flare. And this is where we're at right now. Uh, he, he broke down their relationship, how much, how much feelings he had for her. He also was, you know, breaking down like she doesn't even know what's, you know, the truth behind what's going on. Like he's basically spinning it as I didn't shoot her. There's more to the story. And a lot of people on Twitter that I'm just, you know, not even just on Twitter, on Instagram, well, and Facebook, a lot of people are buying it. A lot of people are are, are kind of kind of looking at this as you're capitalizing off of hurting a woman, a black woman at that in the times that we live in. And a lot of people ain't feeling it. And then there's some individuals that are, you know, they're feeling like they they like what's being said. They like that he's able to express how he's feeling on his side of things. And he kind of really didn't go into too too much detail because he said it in a couple of his tracks. 
I can't say much because it's an ongoing case. And for those who don't know, if you're in an ongoing case, you may want to kind of be quiet. That's just how it should be because they can use anything against you in the court of law, you know. So you got you kind of got to be careful how you say and move. So that's what he was doing. He wasn't saying too much. He was just addressing people that he felt all of a sudden just took one side and, and didn't want to hear his point, which I can understand. That can be kind of frustrating, especially for people that, you know, quote unquote, say, oh, you're my friend. I can see you're a brother. You're like family to me. Then the news get out that, quote unquote, allegedly he shot Megan. Then she comes out and says, Tori shot me. And now everyone's, you know, trying to cancel the guy. And people he thought that was cool with him in the industry, they just kind of said, nah, you really filed for that. And his point was, y'all could have easily just gave me a call, let me know, you know, like, ask me some questions. Like, what's going on here before you just went and just like, oh, forget that guy, Tory. He deport him, you know, forget the midget, you know what I'm saying? That's people calling him midgets and stuff, you know, forget... Forget the guy with the tattered up hairline. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, just making jokes and making memes of him. And he's like, yo, I thought y'all was the homies. Like, y'all didn't even even get my side of the story. And I, I try to put myself in that situation. Like, if I knew someone, if I knew Tory personally, like, that's somebody I grew up with or someone I, you know, I've, you know, gained a, a relationship through the industry would I hit him up first or would I strict just go straight to Instagram, you know, and, and start spewing out stuff or just, you know, siding with one party? I would definitely hit up the individual. I definitely would hit him up and like, yo, what happened? What can you actually tell me? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, go from there. And if it comes out, if he tells me, in, you know, in private, yo, I, I did this and that and this. As a real friend or as someone that you, you know, you consider your relationship to be pure, you got to keep it a buck and be like, you know, hey, you was out of line for this. Why the hell did you do this? Yo, you really tripping? You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it 100, you know, and I don't think he never really got those conversations. Not a lot because everyone kind of just kept their distance and say, hey, oh, Tory's canceled. He's done. We support Meg, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying Megan doesn't deserve the support that she deserves because she's a victim, ultimately. And at the end of the day, when the facts come out, all we can see is Tory got arrested on a gun charge. It was his gun. No one else had a gun in the vehicle, and she got shot. It doesn't look good. We don't know. Maybe something else, there's something else to the story. And this is Dub calling me right now while I'm recording. I'm about to hit him back. But maybe there's something else to the story that we don't know. So it's just one of those things where, like, I, I get Tory's motive behind the stuff he was saying on this album. But at the end of the day, it still doesn't look good. It doesn't. It's just one of those things where it's like, yo, you, yo, you. You've been silent for months and you've been working on music. That's cool. But it's like, yo, this is still doesn't kind of change anything other than we get a perspective from how you feel about stuff. So it's 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 still kind of a shaky road for my guy, Tori. So I got to keep it a buck. There are some tracks on here that slap. I'm not even going to lie to you. There's some tracks on here that he delivered. And I got I got to keep it 100 whether I agree with, you know what I'm saying, what he's saying or not, or do I believe it, that's that's up to the individual. Um, but some of the stuff that he was saying, slap, I'm not going to lie. There were people that he's, you know, he addressed. Like, there's a lot of people that made jokes and was making memes, and there are people uh, that were actually just going to flat out and say, you know what, I'm going to take his verse off my song and... He made some counterpoints to that. It's like, okay, if that's what you want to do, fine, go ahead. But it doesn't really matter because, one, I already got paid for my feature. So, you really, I'm not taking an L on that. Two, if you do do that, um, you're going to be losing out on a lot of streams. And the reason why I say that, there are two artists that were very vocal about taking his feature off their tracks 
Uh, one was Kalani and one was JoJo. And I like both the songs that Tori is featured on on their separate albums. And both of the songs that he's featured on, they're on their Spotify's top five page as like the most streamed songs from those artists. So it's like, if that's the case, you want to take me off the like deluxe version of the album, why not take me off the regular version? And he's making some points because they said they was going to take him off. They never did. There's a reason why. Obviously, because those songs are still gaining some streams because his his features were pretty banging. So it's just one of those things where he was really just going at people that he felt like just had so much to say. And it's like, yo, you got all this to say about me. But at the end of the day, bro, like, I'm not guilty. I haven't been charged with anything yet you know what i'm saying so it's just it's just one of those type of things where i know it's again i do get it but at the same time uh it's just it's just it's still it's still a muddy situation so i, I will say this to those who you know what I'm saying would be interested in checking it out give it a listen formulate your own opinion and, you know, go from there. If you still feel like Tory, you know, is a piece of trash, garbage, then fine. You know what I'm saying? Don't support him. Don't listen to him and keep it moving. If you want to, you know, if you're not sh so sure and you you're trying to wait to everything, you know, unfolds, then you can do that, too. Or or you can do the latter and just not care at all. Because, once again, this has nothing to do with someone's livelihood. You know, this is really just who done it type situation. So, you can also go that route. So, it's just, there's many different routes you can take this if you choose to listen to it or you choose not to. Me, personally, I just thought it was very interesting. Um, just, that's how he decided to respond. Um, overall, if I want to give my opinion just on this whole situation, no matter how you spin it, she got hurt. She shouldn't have gotten hurt. She shouldn't have gotten shot. And uh, we don't know the real details. But ultimately, she got hurt. She is a victim. And it's it's not good. It's not looking good for Tori. Still, you know, whether I like his music or not, you can take that out the, out the picture. It's still not looking good for Tori just in the situation of, of court of court of opinion you know what i'm saying it's just not looking that well you know and uh right now in the time period that we are in where you know our black women feel like they're not being protected by us black men and in certain situations they're not and it just it just doesn't look good it's just it's a muddy muddy subject man very very muddy subject to even be around I've, I've always said this and this is I'm going to leave it on this uh, on this note I've always said this if you're dealing with somebody romantically whatever the situation is and y'all get into a heated argument man let cooler heads, uh, cooler heads prevail and just kind of walk away from the situation try to diffuse it the best, as, best way possible I know it's easier said than done but no violence should be coming to any parties male or female nobody should be shooting each other nobody should be uh, hitting each other none of that no it, it, it shouldn't even there shouldn't be threats nothing just if you guys are angry at each other anger is a temporary feeling very temporary especially in situations like that it can usually be smoothed over with just a couple hours of separation you know and then you come back and try to you know you know figure out what's the best way to move forward like i said it's easier said than done i've had my fair share of angry interactions but i've never put my hands on a woman nor have i ever had the urge to just shoot somebody let alone a woman like it's just that's just not me you know that's not the lifestyle i, I live nor is that the lifestyle that i would ever promote so hey man to all my fellas out there you know just we gotta do we gotta treat our women better we gotta treat our queens better you know and it just doesn't matter any race for all races we gotta men we gotta be men treat our women better you know what i'm saying the best way we can even in hostile situations you know it should never get to a point where we what? we inflict any type of violence on any 
anybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, you know, my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. But comment down below if you did get a chance to listen to Tory Lane's recent album or you guys or, you know, don't really care for him and you, you know, you canceled him a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. Let me know your opinions on this whole situation. And um, I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate y'all kicking with me. And uh, see y'all next time. Peace.